Good evening, everyone. How are we doing? Let's turn that down. Jeez. Right, I have to manually click everything. Boom! Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to the stream tonight. Hope everyone's doing good. We're doing a short stream of Space Engineers once again because we never get anything done. But hello, how is everyone? Welcome. It's Wednesday today, isn't it? Yes, I think it's Wednesday. I don't know. We're recording Conley tomorrow, but yeah, how is everyone doing? Um, who have we got in the chat? Hey, Captain Jack. I finally caught one of your live streams. Hey, Sean. How you doing? Captain John Blue. I think I remember that logo. Hello there. Uh, Josh Bauer, we've got Vos6, Arc Battles, I remember Vos6, I think he's been in the stream before, there we go. There's a Discord link, by the way, I'm not sure if the bot's working, it's probably broken itself again. Keeps logging itself out occasionally, should we see if it's done it again? Let's have a look, it's the night bot we use. Du -du -du. Has it broken itself? Well, I'm logged out already, so that's always a good start. I'll be signing again. Hashtag expose. Get to work? No? I'm taking it, it's probably broken. No, apparently it's in the channel. So if, if people do... There you go, Chris is trying to do it now. We'll see if it actually works. Did my Discord thing work? No, it didn't. Bollocks. I was hoping that worked and it didn't. That's a shame. Did it? Damn. I was trying to set up a new webhook in Discord, but apparently it didn't work. But anyway, how's everyone doing? Um, did, 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 did. Hey, Captain Dan, fine, thanks. Awesome, hello, Luca. Chris is here, Bash is here. Got the two moderators. What will the Osiris take in the RWI stuff? Oh, I'm not even sure, to be honest. Uh, let's quickly turn that down a minute, as that is going to be quite loud. Not up. Uh, should we do Faye? There you go. So yeah, this is the RWI Osiris. This is what we're going to be building tonight. Now, it's mostly in a complete stage. Uh, but what I need to do tonight is actually work on the interior hangar part. The idea was I wanted a couple of uh, drop ships to drop down from here. Because the intention of the Osiris is it's meant to be sort of like a fleet command vessel. And sort of a fleet command so essentially it's got to have lots of stuff on board and lots of guns so that's kind of what i was going for because we've got the uh, phantom which is just brute force we've got the apollo which is kind of brute force with style and then we've got the asylum which just kind of needs to meet in the middle so it's more command focus it's got an interior cic it's got the bigger hangar space it's got a lot of stuff to be used in and uh, no it's not gonna be used in colony wars uh, i don't even think it'd be ready for colony wars to be honest we've not even done anything i mean it's not painted it's been sat in this state for ages so yeah the plan tonight is to actually make a catwalk system going around here eventually or something going through here and then to make you know just something else going around here because we need to actually bridge the gap between here and here so far as crewman can't actually walk out so that's something we need to do but at first we need to actually make sure if valkyries can fit in there so it's it's going to be quite fun uh probably also jack how come you nearly look large what um to, how come to me nearly all your large look the same ish Oh, these ones, it's because they're made of the same design. So these are all the Daedalus class, the different variations. Uh, I can't really think of a thing to compare it to. But I guess that you can compare it to Daedalus class and Stargate. They're all the same class, they just had unique little modifiers that made them separately different, as well as the names. That's what I've gone through with the Daedalus class here. Because you've got the Apollo, which is sat over there. So if you see the Osiris here, very nice. If we take a quick walk over here, you can see the Apollo in its finished state. So I know this is a Phantom, the Apollo's the other direction, which is blown up, I think. So you can see this one's slightly different as well. Minimum guns less of a hangar space, etc. This one, more guns, but, you know, it kind of sacrifices in sleek, you know, flagship looks, but, you know, it's kind of what I'm going for here. And I say, most of the interior is finished. I need to redo the bridge up front here, then I think I'm going to seal off this section and add in a new sort of, you know, central command area here. Then we've got, like, a conference room going on, kind of, you know, like, different things to do. But I might strip out of that area and just put the conference room back here, and we'll have this area saved in for something else. I'm not sure yet, but, it, you know, it could be something new and interesting to do. We'll have to see what we can come up with. Similar how to Star Wars, uh, can you mean even the Venators? Uh, no. I wouldn't compare SDs or uh, Venators to this, but yeah. I joined Discord, thank you! Yeah, so everyone's joining me Discord, by the way, come in. Uh, we've not got any public servers online for the minute, they are going to be down for a week. Or they're going to be down until Saturday, but it might extend, I'm not sure yet. Um, Jack, do a video on how to download Space Engineers. It's pretty simple, I don't think it wants a video. Go to Steam, click buy, download. It's kind of like that, you have to buy it. So yeah. How's the mech idea going? Uh, I've never really done a mech idea, to be honest. Always be on a channel later. Yep, if you miss this stream, uh, it will be uploaded to the channel so you can go and watch it. Did my other video just go live? For anyone wondering, I want I run not one, I run another channel called Trek Central, which does Star Trek content, and we just uploaded a brand new video talking about uh, the new Star Trek series that was announced today, which is an animated one. So uh oh, yeah, it's gone live. Thank Christ for that. There you go. Well done, YouTube. Ta-da! Nice. I expect that video to get hated on quite a lot because it's talking about new Star Trek. Uh, right, we need to strip out internal sections of this at some point. That would be a good idea. I don't think we've lighted up any of this. So no, this is the actual the CIC that's going on on board the Osiris. So I'll give you a moment to have a look at this. 
But you can see it's got the new hollow table in there. We're probably going to take out some of those blocks, add in some other stuff. But uh, for the minute, this is the CIC we're going for. Very Battlestar Galactica inspired. This entire ship, its theme is around Battlestar Galactica. I mean, you can even see that in the hallways in here, look. Very Battlestar-ish. That's kind of what I wanted to go for. I've been here since 8 8K. Oh, damn, you've been here a long time. Um, sheer vehicle cool. flight to orbit. It looks beautiful, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, it's taken some shape so far. It needs to be, like, you know, actually painted at some point. But, uh, it's getting there. Now we need to get in a Valkyrie a second. It is this one I want. And we need to make sure we can actually store in here. Because this ship, like I say, it's meant to be Fleet Command, but Ground Ops is also its speciality. So it needs to be able to launch a couple of drop ships as well. So let's bring our character. Oh, hey, the lag is getting a bit too bad. Uh, yeah, this world's very laggy to me as I've got a ton of stuff in it. Should probably get rid of it. And Jack needs to turn on the thrusters. There you go. We should really make a different variation of a ship sometime. Right, let's carefully go in here and not break anything. Let's lower the bay. Alright, steady. Bring around. Oh, it's dark to operate in here. Let's bring our um, spectator cab in a sec. So we can do the bigger lights. Uh, oh no, we can't even use that. We're in F9 mode, can't we? We should really allow that to stay on. I'm sorry, it's really dark at the minute. I know you can't see anything. I should have like a night button or like a night vision button on the stream deck. That'd be quite funny. Right, so let's see. Can this fit out of here or are we going to see make this slightly bigger? I think we're going to have to make this slightly bigger, which isn't an issue. But it might impede on the design a little bit, which in case might be an issue. Can we not just squeeze it out slightly? Can we not just... Yeah, we need to extend both sides by another one. Okay, that's not a big issue to be honest. We can... Can fix that, he says while looking underneath. Yeah, we could just strip back one side. Meh, we can do it. Cool, well, helpful if I actually got out the ship first. That might be a good, a good start. Let's sit here. What is in this world? It's like tons of stuff that needs cleaning up. I'm going to quickly change the soundtrack a second because the Star System one gets really boring after you've played it for such a long time. Uh, I really need some new stream music sometime. I wish I could play like music suggestions you guys give me. The issue is YouTube just outright copy strikes everything, so there's like, not even a chance in hell. Can we just play a track, please? Thank you. There you go. Yeah, YouTube just outright strikes everything, so it's like I can't even, you know, do stuff. Uh, we need to delete them. What even is that? Space Pirates. Oh yeah, I need to delete a ton of these things. So it's really boring a second. I blew some ships up last stream we did, and uh, it kind of took a lot of stuff with it. There you go. That might have made our lag issue a little bit easier now. Whoop. Right, let's nip back to here. If that's the wrong one, it's this one. Helpful is when I don't load in everything as well. Is it here? Is it Cerberus? No. I've got so many bloody ships sat around here. Is this the green drone one we did? No, this is just a shadow one, isn't it? A little bit behind the scenes information. This is when we made the shadows. Luckily, they were copied now, so we can just go ahead and delete them and not give a care in the world. There we go. Whoop. Right. Uh, we're over here. There you go. Osiris. Nice, right, okay, let's see what we can work on. We need to strip down this hangar bay, so let's make sure our symmetry mode is turned on. The starters would be the best idea, or else it's going to be a short-lived evening. Uh, let's quickly just place a block there and get rid of any of them. Dude, if anyone's got any questions, by the way, to ask me in the stream while I yabber on about uh, other stuff and building a ship, feel free to ask me. I'm just going to turn that fan off a minute. I bought a new fan the other day. It's um, it's my biggest fan, yeah. I've been waiting about a week to make that joke. Uh, Jack, you're seeing Endgame now. Somebody probably spoiled it for me. I've I've not had a chance to go and see it, and I probably won't get one. That's still not going to fit, is it? God damn it. All right. So yeah, I'll probably go see it when I get a chance, but not for a while. Unfortunately, I don't have the time nor patience. So we can build part of the hangar into here, so it's no big deal. Right. Let's see, we could probably fit... No, we can't. Can this thing go fully down? It can, nice. Okay, that can sit there for a second. Meaning we can now carefully work on this. And I've got the large grid hangar doors installed now, which is good news. I can't put these here, bollocks. Uh, which means we'll have to put this hangar guard here. Yay! <laughs> More issues with the builds. Give it a rail gun. I mean, it's got a big gun at the front, so I'm not sure if we need a rail gun to say. But uh, we could probably do something else. Uh, no, I need this block, don't I? It's probably the issue of when you build, um, was it, like I'm doing right now. I need to stop the entities because it's floating away. 
See, some people will build, like, the inside first, and then they build the outside where it's me. It's like, no, 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 we'll do it this way, because that always works. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh. Uh, we could probably get rid of some of the armor plating there, to be honest. There you go. And we shall figure out a way to make this more interesting. We need to actually get some of those hangar doors up first. Hangar door. So that's the wrong one, isn't it? Bollocks, we've added the wrong hangar door mod. Uh, right, I'm going to have to log out quickly and go get the other one. I forgot there's like multiple different like uh, hangar door types we use. We meant to use the S-Bot ones, not the actual Vs. Jack, uh, next end of server battle, will you stream it and upload it? Because I want to be watched below. Uh, yeah, we probably will do. We couldn't do this one because it was just damn laggy. I'm not even sure when we'll launch the new service to be honest. What is this Friday Conley Wars going to be? Conley Wars. That's what it is. Uh, are the battleship cannons and core cannons both from MWI? The battle... Well, actually, no, because it's... The battleship cannons mod is its own thing, and the MWI mod is its own thing. Has that music just stopped? Why go to the end of the soundtrack, then? There you go. Can we exit out of here? Jack, do you think you could do some sort of cinematic video of a whole RWI fleet? Maybe. I mean, we've done multiple videos before of, like, each ship. Like, the Apollo 1 had that where it had, like, defenders and fighters and stuff in it. So I think that's our biggest one so far. I don't... There's no need... Unless there's a need to tell a story with most of the fleet in it, then I don't think I'll do one because, you know, there's just no point. I guess I can give you, like, a cinematic tour of ships. I was thinking of doing, like, a lore sort of video of, you know, introduction to each of the ships in class and what they mean. Maybe I can still do that at some point. It's just not something I got around to. Will you ever meet the other RWI and Colony Wars? I'm not sure. You should watch this week. Um, why not try building a bridge that's at the centre of backup and it's surrounded by two or three layers of heavy armor? That's essentially what the CIC is. CIC is, um, you know, uh, a com com combat information centre. There you go. Or command information centre. Whichever you want to refer to it. Is this an airtight door? Nope. Sector, you have made so many mods. This one. Yes, there we go. Well done, Sector, and we need to update this one sometime. Right, we'll move that. There's anything else we don't need here. That's abandoned. We should really update that one at some point. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Do we even use these? No, it's not that. We can get rid of that. Watch everything break now. Okay, we can move that as well. You can tell how old this world is, because I'm using, still using some mods which are heavily outdated now. Uh, tiered armor, so I'm going to turn again. Right, go, go, launch. Launch them all. Do, uh, where did you come out of with, where did you come off with, how did I come up with it? I just kind of just, you know, thought of it. Uh, Shield just gone from Conley Wars or the RW Universe as a whole. Don't forget, RW Universe and Conley Wars are two separate entities. I'm not using shields in Conley Wars anymore because I think the combat's going to be more fun with the main cannons and stuff like that. I may be wrong, but I don't know. Shields just change up the fight too much. Hey, Jack. Um, this is Captain John Blue on my main. Hello, Admiral. How are you doing? Vergon's uh, recoil build, please. Maybe. Maybe we can do that. How's Discovery going? Discovery's going. I was meant to film it more tonight, but I'm doing an hour of streaming just for fun of it. The text on that um, glass couldn't be more incorrect. What build are you most proud of, Jack? Probably the Defender, to be honest. The Defender's like, I don't know, one of my like sort of iconic builds, I guess you could say. It's, you know, I've built it for such a long, such a long time. Words tonight are failing me. No space engineers, don't crash. You're just loading a mod. God's sakes. Thanks. Thanks, Keen. <laughs> Install X mats and mods into it. Crash this game. It's gone to white screen. Have we got it? No. God damn, I wish my bloody bot would work in Discord. I made a new webhook to try and post to a channel, but it's just like, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm like, thanks. Greatly appreciated. Which means something's probably gone wrong. How much do space engineers cost? I think it's like £20 now, or £18. Hey, Jack, I'm from Germany. Hello. Hello, Germany. How are you doing? I'd like to visit Germany someday. I might go to Gamescom this year. I might still, to be honest. Right, let's count how many blocks. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. I, no, I can just measure this, can't I? Jesus Christ. Nine. That's going to be awkward. Uh, five X. Four X. 
This model needs to be updated at some point. Maybe I can convince Sekton to do that one day. 4x. Because if 5x won't fit here, will it? The 4x will. There we go. This is how you cheat the hangar doors. Ta-da! <laughs> now, hopefully we should still be able to fit into this. Let's give it a shot. Watch this go terribly wrong in five seconds. This is going to be a very tight fit. Shit, we've already hit it. Is that, have I ever extended it again? Bollocks, I have. God damn it. Let's just do, let's just push it back once more and do another five. Oh, yeah, because I didn't actually take the blocks away on this side, did I? Eh. God damn it. You can tell it's late at night. Right, put the 5x here. Come on now, you can do this. <laughs> that is <laughs> it's incredibly... <laughs> You're going to have to line it up there really well, else this is going to be like one short-lived mission. Just quickly get the camera in here a second. So yeah, it'll fit fine. It's just going to be quite hard to actually get it in and out. That sounds bad. Um, but yeah, that's um, it's probably good. We could probably have it like mount up or back up here or something like that. But for the minute, yeah, that'll work fine. I'm not too fussed about that, to be honest. Okay, cool. Right, down you go. Hit the back again. There you go. It fits. It's if for cinematic wise, it'll look fine. But for practicality in a survival scenario, I probably wouldn't do that to be honest. But hey ho, it works for a minute. Now we need to start reinforcing certain sections throughout here. I don't know why there's a conveyor like tube in there. That probably needs to be reworked somewhere along here because there's pipes and systems which need to be aligned up. Yeah, none of these turrets have even piped in. God damn it, Venom. See, when things on this ship don't work, what we do is we just blame Venom for shit like that. Because uh, he's not here, so we can just, you know, get away with it. Fantastic. But yeah, this needs to be actually round back around here. So we need to actually link up these hydrogen tanks, because I think they're only linked by this thruster up here. Meaning, if you do one direct shot to this thruster, like if your ship's that way here, and fire your cannon straight into there, you'll take out both side pods thrusters. And I'm like, Pfft. again, like I say, most people like say, oh, why is the Apollo so weak? It is made for cinematics, it's entirely the idea behind it. So when, you know, you see me doing these crazy things, it's made to look good, not function well. Whereas most other people's ships are made to, you know, function well. Or you can be a complete maniac and do it where it's made to do both, which is crazy. I don't know who would do that. Colonel Neil, what the hell are you doing? Middle of my backswing. Thank you, Bob Archer, for the donation. Big fan of videos uh, I said I would date. Thank you, Bob. That's greatly appreciated. I do remember your comment, actually. I think it was on a Connolly video, wasn't it? How did everyone find the latest Connolly Wars cinematic, by the way? Interested in people's opinions on it. It took a long time to actually make, but I, I think it was worth it. It's quite fun to make as well. Hmm, I wonder. I've had one of those forts again, you know, one of those bad forts. Five, okay. Whoop, nice. If we put a connector here, actually, in the first I need to just do this. Connector, right. Are we still building symmetry mode? Yes, we are. Okay, stick with me here, chat. I've not gone mental just yet. Let's go get our dropship. There you go. Let's not smash it into the ceiling this time. I think I drove forward slide, didn't I? Almost. You know, it's modern cars that like, come with reversing sensors and such. We should have them. My idea was, what if we just, like, fit a landing pad here for it? There you go, problem solved. They can just dock there. I like that. That's a good idea, actually. My original idea was have them hang from the roof, but I think they fit better here. What do you guys think? This way the ships can, you know, come in through here, land here, and all the men can get on board. I think that's an easy way of doing it. I'm sure there's probably a more logical way of doing it, but I like it this way, so we're going to do it this way. Let's have fun with this idea. Uh, let's see, we can probably do this here as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. I like more than from the ceiling. You like that more than ceiling? Yeah, I think the ceiling idea wouldn't really work as well as it look a bit weird hanging in because we've got the ceiling bits here for the 302s or 203s. Or um, but yeah, it won't work for that. So yeah, but they'll work fine there. I'm liking that. I really want to put a connector there as well, which would be a good idea. While flying. I watched another live stream. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we need to replace these areas in here, because I think we've got the catwalk, yeah. 
So this area underneath here, I built this area underneath the Osiris Phantom, and I think it's, I don't think it's on the Apollo, actually. I built it there because um, I wanted, I was, I think I was watching the Star Trek Enterprise episode of Catwalk, where they lived in the Catwalk for a couple of months. So I built it there, I was like, yeah, I want one of these on my ship. That's where you see a lot of, like, my design ideas come from, as I see it in Star Trek or Halo or whatever, and I think, yeah, I want that. This is going to be really tight to get into, isn't it? It's fine, we can make it. There we go. It's not a bad issue. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's move the character away from there. Doop. So yeah, we now need to find some way of like making this look a little bit more technical, technical and complicated. Shouldn't be too hard, to be honest. Uh, we will fit some like railings or something on the side here so the ship doesn't smash into it. Hey Jack, when is the next client, next client I was going to start? What? Next client I was going to? I don't know what you mean by that. Turn it. I guess you could turn it. Yeah, you could point it down and go through it. Yeah, I guess you could do that, but cinematically, we usually drop from it. So yeah, when's the next Conley Wars? Friday, as usual. Which is your favourite creature in Subnautica Below Zero? I've not even played the game yet. I think I bought it and I still haven't launched it, so yeah. Why are you making the ship for? I fancied making it, and I might be writing another cinematic. Just point the shots down to know it's fit for the bottom. Yeah, I could do that. My idea was that I wanted it dropping down, sort of like we're doing Halo. But yeah, I see what you mean. I probably could get away with doing that as well. So we might do that. Uh, let's fit some technical things up here. Button panel, button... Boop. We'll get some of these access ports here. The ship is moving again. Boop. There we go. So you'll sit, sit these button panels up here. Now, can I get like an auxiliary access port through here? Yeah, I could fit that in here, to be honest. I found your Conor Wall series really enjoyable. Keep up the good work. Thank you, game over. The donation should come through now in a minute. There we go. Is DJ active still? Well, I presume it is. I mean, we left most of the cast and crew behind in... Whatever that cinematic was called. Planet Wars, that's what it was. There you go. I do remember. In the middle of my backswing. Hmm. Just kind of thinking of things we could set up over here, but... Nah, for the minute that'll do. Unless... This is why I sort of like ponder around for ideas now of like, you know, what could I possibly do here to make it that little bit more complicated? But no, I, I think I've got it off to a T here. We'll keep it like that. Uh, one thing is going to be like a catwalk sort of, sort of system set up here. But for the minute, I have to find a way to write that around. So that's something to do later on. Because these hangers are going to be in the way. Unless we lower them down, but I don't think we can. Nah, because the bottom's stuck in there. Hmm. That's going to be a bit awkward. We'll find a way. Life does indeed find a way. Because at the minute, people have to cross through this main area to get to uh, this section of the ship. Which reminds me, I need to redo the engine room. But so far, I think the exterior's come along nicely. Like, there's good progress being made of the ship. The bow, I'm completely happy with. Uh, we might do a redo a few things in the armor plating. But so far, everything is just going nicely. So I'm happy with it overall. We've got thrusters up top here. Got different armor sections. It is all looking uh, very nice. So yeah. I think I might redo these turrets up here at some point. But yeah, they're okay for now. Bottom-wise, we've redone the cannons on there, which is looking good. We've got our front bow turrets, which are... Look menacing. I would not like to be on the receiving end of them. And I've got our side guns as well, which are looking deadly. I want to test this thing in combat soon, but it's not ready yet, so we'll have to wait and see a little bit longer. Uh, thank you, David Yours, for becoming a new member. Not sure why the announcement isn't there, but hey ho. Uh, will this eventually be on the workshop when it's finished? Because she was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll be on the workshop eventually. Uh, I was about to give something away. I'm not meant to, then. Damn, I'll keep that for a while. I read a chat message like, oh, I can. No, I can't say that. I can't say that. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Um, yeah, let's see. We get the catwalk things here. Uh, cats. There you go. We will sit these things along here, as I quite like these. What the hell are you doing? David, thank you for the donation, man. Greatly appreciated. I'm not sure why your membership thing didn't come through. Maybe it's just a bug of the system again. Seems to be doing that a lot lately. There you go. We'll keep this here. Is this... Yes, it is. Nice. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. There you go. Why are these blocks in here? Oh, I guess we need to cut these out somehow. Yeah, we need a pipeline going through here. Could we fit one in? We could fit a pipeline going behind here. Yeah, that's something else to think about in a minute. Uh, right, where's my engineer? Boop, there you go. Uh, we need to get you a grinder, don't we? There we go. Jack's quick tips on detailing ships. Literally, cut down catwalks like this. It makes them look more mechanical and as if they fit in on board a starship, in my opinion. It looks a lot better. 
I like it anyway. I know some people would like to prefer other things, but these work for me. And whatever works for yourself is usually the best. Those are the wrong ones, Jack. Well done. <laughs> Don't use those ones. Use what works well, not what doesn't work well. There we go. Very nice. Awesome. Catwalk is probably set up. We'll just do this side a minute. There we go. Very nice. So yeah, Visaris will be on the workshop soon. I'm actually in the middle of prototyping a new cinematic because uh, I've been watching or re-watching a bit of Battlestar Galactica recently and I wanted to make something similar to the Pegasus death. So this ship might be used for that because in my sort of story, this one's meant to emulate Pegasus from BSG, the Reimagined series. So if you've watched that series, you know what happens to the Pegasus. So <laughs> you know what's going to happen to this ship eventually. In lore, I think this one would have blown up at some point. But um, I've not written that part yet. I want to redo the engine room, but I can't figure out how. Hmm. We'll come back to that another time. So we've got the catwalk going under here, which needs to be lit up at some point. Uh, we've got our hangout area for fighters and such, which is looking good. I think we need to link a connector in under here or something. Might be a good idea. We'll look into that. Add more guns on top. Yeah, the top needs a few more guns. Weapon tests against DOF ships. So don't forget, DOF ships are made for survival and such, whereas these aren't. I think it's got enough engines in my opinion. We've got plenty of engines at the front here. Uh, we've got a few stopping engines down here. And I think we might, we could retrofit that to include another one. Hmm. Could do. I don't know. We've got plenty of PDC fire going along here, but yeah. I'm not sure. I want to detail this slightly. There you go, let's add in these bits here. Oh, we can't... We can do that there. Yeah, these blocks can't, because they've got that. Okay. These can. Nice. Just a bit of extra detailing always goes, like, a long way, I think. So that'll fit in fine there. The nameplate sticks out good. Sadly, there's no sort of jewel thing I can put there. Is Dr. Christ here to destroy the massive ship, Jack? I don't know what he's doing at the minute. He must be... Is he playing a game? He is not in Discord. He's in Discord. I think he's just sitting around doing something. So, yeah. I, I'm not sure. He's up to something, probably. There we go. Hello there. Uh, Obi-Wan... Uh, oh, that's Twitch, isn't it? Will be one Thank you. <laughs> hey, I just finished watching the whole series of your Conley Wars. Can't wait for the next episode to start. Thank you, Jonathan. Glad you're enjoying it. It does amaze me, like, people who watch the entire series through. It is quite, like, I don't know. I couldn't imagine doing that, to be honest. Conley Wars has changed over so much time. I was thinking about this yesterday. You know, we started with one cast and we're ending it with another. It has been, like, a bit of a weird journey, but wow, has it been fun. I've enjoyed it, definitely. Um, I'd say Conley Wars is coming to an end soon. Not tomorrow, don't worry. It's coming to an end at some point. But yeah, it has been a very interesting journey, and just thinking about it is like, damn. Now, I don't want to put any more guns on the bottom here, as I feel that would slightly ruin the aesthetic and design. But, uh, yeah, it's just looking right at the minute. I really want, like, a giant RDBI patch there. I'm not sure, but some sort of, like, skin or something to fit there, I think would look brilliant. You know, like, the Unice logos and stuff. I really, like, imagine our RWI patch, where is it? So we've got this one, which is Virtue Made, I believe it's called. Check him out if you've... Uh, I think he's in our Discord. Just upscale this by 3x3. Three by three. Or... 1, 2, 3, 4... 1, 2, 3, 5 by 5. Yeah, upscale this by 5 by 5 and just slap it there. I think that would be brilliant. What do you guys think? I agree. Excellent. <laughs> hey guys, anyone know if the updated design for 2 or 3 files in workshop? No, I've not uploaded it yet. I should do that at some point. Did I upload it or not? No, I didn't. I need to upload it. I'll do that later, if I remember. Moderators, can you remind me about that to update the free 203 design, please? As I'll probably be in Discord in half hour anyway. Uh, will you continue Conley Survival, Jack? No, Conley Survival ended and moved into Conley Wars, so yeah. Can you stream Conley Wars? No, we can't. See, I can't even connect to the actual um, server at the minute as we're a week ahead. So what you've seen now is what we recorded a week ago. I'm currently editing... Uh, this week's stuff, but we'll record. I suppose, like, no, I can't even show it to you now. This week hasn't aired yet, so the world's been changed. So, yeah, you can't technically see it. Else you'll see the world and go, well, how did they end up with that giant Atlas laser? No, I'm joking. We've not got an Atlas laser. Is an Atlas super laser on the Arabia Osiris? No, it isn't. I think the Odyssey would have one. But, yeah, did everyone watch and enjoy the cinematic for um, the con latest Conley Wars episode? It was quite fun. I enjoyed making it. 
Freaks the arms. I got your message, by the way. Point my nose down. What is Ardua and Inic? Ardua is my faction. Inic is uh, Aaron's faction. Or his sort of like story faction. Do you gym? No, I'm lazy. Uh, cinematic was awesome. Thank you. No, I, I used to go to the gym, but fuck, I can't be asked anymore. It's not like I can't. There's 101 reasons. I'm not going to explain it. Hey, Jack, you should use pistons and rotors for the hangers. I could do, but they are the devil's work, so no. I'm going to put some gun emplacements in a hanger. Yeah, yeah, we'll put some uh, emplacements in a hanger at some point. Uh, but for the minute, they're kind of fitting there. I was going to fit a couple of Vulcans and stuff up here. But um, for the moment, they're just like that. For the moment, ew, I turned suddenly posh there. How old are you? I'm 20. I'm only 21 this year. Damn, nature, you're scary. Uh, let us fit a button panel somewhere. Button. There you go. That'll leave us enough room to actually have the Osiris, not the Osiris, the uh, thingy dock there. Thingy, that's how far we've gotten now. Magical words. We'll treat that back there a second. Alright, oh, there's an extra room in here now, isn't there? And it's going to be incredibly awkward to access. Hmm, we may have to cut that other room off. That might be the wiser idea. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, this person's no longer getting extra room in their apartment. We're sealing this off and putting something else in. Uh, where's my upside down floor? There we go. Let's get rid of that. Do, 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 do. And for those wondering, yeah, the entire ship is in grey for the minute just because uh, I don't want to paint it just yet. I usually leave like sort of painting and designing the ships to like the last minute. Uh, simply because I think when the design details are done, I can then come in and detail things a lot better. But while I'm sort of rebuilding and moving blocks around, it is easier for me just to um, build it like this. So I'm going to continue building like this for a while. Uh, let's quickly just put this block in here. Do, do, do. And that is going to go. Ta -da. And we can put a block like that. There we go. That way you can be able to come in, walk through here. And stop there. Now we can have our catwalk system going along. Catwalk. I've had one of those crazy ideas again. Hmm. How ugly would this look? Do you reckon that would look ugly or not? So keep an eye on my idea here. We've still got those platforms there. But to save anyone falling down it, we would go and put this here. But still keep it separated point by point. Like this. That way no one's going to accidentally fall through. Don't like it? Mm. I'm not too sure about the armor guards. Let's go over basic design for a second. Uh, thank you Dark Monarchy 61 for following me on Twitch. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bad throat on coming I think. Let's hope I can film Connolly Wars. I've got a new microphone arriving tomorrow actually. That should be quite fun. If UPS actually deliver one time. Um, so yeah, that should be good. I've got a Shure SM7B which is a very, very nice microphone. I thought it'd be time to upgrade. I'm going to do a podcast soon. Uh, I'm not sure if it could be a Captain Jack podcast. But yeah. Did you really team up with Inic in the last Connor Wars episode? So something to understand is with the last Connor Wars episode, there is technically two versions of RWI. There is our team RWI, which should be considered a splinter of the main RWI. The main RWI, or Redwood as we'll call them, uh, you saw the Defenders and stuff like that. Whereas my team are kind of like a splinter faction, so that kind of separates the difference. So Captain Jack and team didn't team up with Inic. Uh, it was the... Um, uh, the main RDBI. So I lost the trail on my fort there. That's really bad and worrying. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with catwalks. Or could we go with windows? Hmm. Escape, escape pod house would be a good name. Yeah, I don't think we can take it though because someone else has got it. The escape podcast. Whoop. Yeah, someone else has got it. You visited this page three times apparently. Okay. When did they last upload? Because they've not uploaded in about 60 days. I'll, we could probably get away at one year ago. We might be able to get away with that. Oh, that's sounding like a jerk. It doesn't look super active, so I don't know. Maybe if we call it like the Escape Podcast by Captain Jack or something, we could go. But I don't want to rip off someone else's brand, as that would be an incredibly dick move. So, yeah, we'll have to be careful. If we do do Escape Podcast, we'll have to be careful. So, it's, it's something to look into in you know, a conversation for another time, but, yeah. Should we build a Trojan horse ship? Yeah, I suppose we could. 
at some point. Uh, but I'm going to strip out these lights a minute as I no longer want these inside the ship. Or not on this side anyway. I'm going to get rid of that as well. Boop, there we go. There we go, very nice. I hope you have gun placements in the CIC. Yeah, yeah, we'll have them in there eventually. Like I say, it's, the ship's still being designed, so, you know, take a pinch of salt. It is getting there. Just, you know, one moment at a time. Like, one thing I do want to do is add sort of, like, check markers in this section for um, different areas. How's that look? That's not too bad. Um, yeah, let's just add that there a minute. That way it keeps things slightly separate. Cool. Just like another interesting little design I've got going on here. Uh, now the idea of his, this little bit here is I think we even to have a fighter or something else dock here, but I'm not entirely sure at the minute. Hmm. I've got a crazy idea, stick with me. Now this won't work because we've got that observation office over here. <laughs> I need a way to link both these sides, so yeah. When's the next patch out? Probably in a month or so. Is the ship going to die as fast as Dawnbreaker? Probably, I mean it's made out of light armor, so probably die faster. I mean it's not made for combat. The Ardabai podcast should be called, oh sorry, the podcast should be called RWI Universe uh, or Chat of Jack. Uh, but, I mean Chat of Jack sounds boring. Sounds like I've actually just started a chat show. Which would be hilarious. Are you going to do a Star Citizen series? Maybe. I don't know. Is there much call for a Star Citizen series? Should we do one? I'm not sure. This is why I start hitting a wall now of the designs. This hangar is going to bug me to hell and back. Let's just quickly go and look at the, um, the Phantom Hangar. We'll get some inspiration. You want to put it in skate pods just in case. Uh, I'm not putting in skate pods. I don't really do them on cinematic ships. They don't need to be here. Like I say, the reason this ship's being designed is for cinematic purposes. And so it will suit the script, essentially. That's why I designed them. Observation in the middle of room ceiling with hallway to observa original observation. That'd be a good idea. Did you remove the lights? Yeah, we're going to redo the lights later on. So this is what the lights will look like, but I'm going to redo them later because I didn't like the blue. So this is how the hangar currently looks inside uh, the Phantom. So we want to do something similar to that. So what I'm kind of doing at a minute is just taking design details from this, looking around and seeing if we can incorporate anything similar. Now, the idea I did have, which we'll see how well it looks. So let's just imagine the observation area is sort of being taken out for a second. My idea was if we rip into the ceiling, we will encounter a floor. Not what I had in mind. Uh, no, if I rip into the ceiling slightly... Hopefully no one will mind. The shame they did. We could do something like this where... Yeah, we could have like a, a sort of like a catwalk system walking across. So people would walk up here. But I'm not sure if that's too out of place. What do you think? So people would be walking along here and there would be windows down to the side. So people could see down. They wouldn't be able to like reach down and, you know, do anything. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Subject, love your work. Thank you, Melissa. Turn along. Ambush drones using a Trojan horse. Oh, yeah, we're not, not doing carnival stuff. Um, uh, Jack, put connectors there for four fighters. Yeah, we'll, we'll put connectors there eventually. See, there's already ones there, and there's, ve there's going to be ones there and there eventually, but it just takes a bit of time. Uh, what about a uh, new service? And, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to do, like, the issue of, like, podcast names and stuff like that. If I do, like, Redwood News Service, it's specific to Redwood, so it wouldn't be very fun. I kind of want to do a podcast where... It's not, like, specific to such a confined subject. I can do one and call it, like, there's a prototype we're working for a minute for a Trek podcast or Star Trek podcast, um, which will be fine because Star Trek is a very diverse and very big subject. Whereas if we did one with just, like, Redwood News, it would be boring because there isn't much to it. Redwood isn't a diverse subject. It's a very niche sort of audience. Niche means small for those wondering. So essentially it's like, you know, keep the design for the sake of Venom. So much hate. Why? It's my ship. 
it'd be interesting to watch the hang of ships going in and out of there. I think I might play with a replay tool overnight and see if I can do something with this hangar, or the Apollo hangar, and go from there. Uh, one thing we can do, actually, is we can put the letters up here. Do we have them? Yeah, we do. Wait. Hey. I, no, that's the wrong button. I meant to press 6 for I, not the actual letter. And then it's 5. There it is. There you go, that fits perfectly. Yay! We can also fit this here as well. Nice. Ta-da! And uh, we can get the text panels going along. There you go. Things are fitting in pretty well. Why is this floor done like that? Hmm. Awesome. Right. That fits in very nicely there. So the design has got a bit deeper. I'm still not sure about the upper arcing area, though. Do you have any uh, RD Bride ships that are designed to ram? Uh, technically, these can ram. I mean, the Defender themselves could ram. It's got that piercing sort of bow to it. But, um, yeah. How about the name for your podcast, Space Jack? I was going to call it the Captain Jack podcast, but it, I don't know. It's, I don't want to name it as myself. It, sounds, it makes me sound like a pretentious prick. YMX Vlogs, thank you for the donation. It should pop up on screen in the next millennia. Uh, let's see, we've got that area leading through here, which is fine. Then I forgot what this area is meant to do. Apart from leading through to there. Oh, unless it was meant to go. Yeah, I think it's just meant to be a service hatch, wasn't it? That was kind of the idea. Okay, yeah. We can do stuff with this. Yeah, Ryan Swords, thank you for the donation, man. Always greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm in sort of like a complicated design mode. And what we'll do is, first off, Jack can select right block. So it's sort of like a maintenance elevator shaft. We will precariously put blocks along here to imitate that, you know, it is a maintenance idea. So yeah, I think yeah, what I'll have in here is sort of like just areas people can conduct maintenance on. I'm having a moment, ignore me. I've forgotten how to design the interior of my own ship. Shh, don't tell anyone. Me. <laughs> so I'm having a moment. How did you meet Last Sign Gamers? I think we kind of just became friends because of Space Engineers and such like that. I think uh, it was actually Scott's Dragon that introduced me, I think. I can't remember now. I think it was Scott who introduced me uh, to Aaron and we kind of just got playing there. I think we had a couple of games of Fractured Space, Rip and Peace, and uh, then we just started playing from there. And at the time I was producing Colony Survival. Yeah, I was producing Colony Survival. And Aaron was like, oh, I want to get involved with some SE content. I'm like, well, why don't you come and you play the antagonists in Colony Survival? And so he did. He played sort of drone leader. And then we launched our new series together, which is Colony Wars. I mean, for someone like myself, who had been watching Aaron's content for years since doing my own SE content, it's kind of like, wow, I'm working with, you know, Aaron. It's, it's quite cool. It's really amazing, to be honest. Um... Okay, yeah, we can just put a door in here. Nice. All right. That can fit in there. So ladder will just go up there to this central area. This way it's got sort of manual access, which is very nice. And we will just fit these in as well. Why is that armor plating there? Okay. Yeah, why is that there? That's odd. Is this high? This used to be something else, didn't it? Yeah, why the hell is this here? God damn it. There you go. This is kind of what like, you know, designing ships like this comes down to. You end up going along and stuff and go, why the hell have I done this and start replacing stuff? But yeah, it's kind of like half the fun of it in a way. Uh, let's take down this wall a second. As it is no longer needed here. And we will be able to access the inner workings of a ship. So the idea of this area is meant to be sort of like a maintenance conduit. So, you know, people can access here. 
go around, do various things. It's kind of the idea. Probably won't work in the long run, as something will most likely break. But for the minute, it's alright. Let's make sure it does stay that way, to be honest. Give me the other one. There we go. Do, do, do. Yeah, so I want lots of like airlock doors down here to shut things off because we don't want anything sort of leaking out as this idea is meant to be like sealed behind doors. Colonel O'Neill. I love that one. Uh, Wymix Logs, thank you for your donation, man. Greatly appreciate it. The only message I'm new. Um, let's see. Add launch tubes on the ship to launch fighters like Galactica. Yeah, it's not meant to be a total rip-off, though. It's inspired, not a total rip-off. We're not doing launch tubes. I guess the side you could say is like a launch tube, if you really wanted to, but it's not inspired by that. I think we based it off, um, like a quick... We based it off something else, I think. I wouldn't count this as a launch tube, this here, no. I mean, you can if you want, but it's, in my opinion, not really. Uh, now, I want to put something here. I was thinking, like, an auxiliary sort of control station or power station. But uh, that could go somewhere else. These definitely need to be piped in somehow. Uh, using a pipe thing as well would probably work, Jack. Well done. Uh, let's just quickly do that. Nice. Okay. We'll also just replace this one here as well. And put an extra set of doors in. Nice. Okay, cool. A lot going on. They're good. Um, what else could we do here? Could we fit an auxiliary control station in? We probably could, but I'm not sure just yet. So this leads through in here. they have got different sections going on, different rooms and stuff. Very nice. We have Osiris be casually used as a retaliation for what's coming for enemies in the sake of cinematics. Uh, I doubt the Osiris will appear in Conley Wars. I don't think so. It's not definitely not ready. Any sneak peeks of the new patch, Jack? Um, it's not next to me, so no. <laughs> um, no, I, I showed one off on... Was it Snapchat? No, it was um, Instagram, I think. Yeah, you can follow my Instagram. I showed it off on there. Commander Baller, thank you for following me on... Oh, Commander Baller? Thank you for following me on Twitch. Greatly appreciate it. What's the best way to build a ship? Just kind of go for it. Um, let's have a look. CIC, that's doing okay. There's front areas which could be connected up. Yeah, this area needs to be redefined at some point. For the minute, auxiliary control is not too bad. We could probably fit an entirely different O2 plan up here. Because we aren't essentially under anything. We could do that. Yeah, because these areas down here are not living quarters, but they're kind of made of something else. Go away, you're meant to be up here. Yeah, and that, that leads down from a catwalk, doesn't it? Yes, okay, that makes more sense. Now I remember where this area goes from. It's all coming back to me slowly when I built this ship yonders ago. Do you play Star Trek Online? If so, what console do you play on? Are you PC player? No, I'm a PC player. I don't know about consoles. Crap. I think the console versions are right, but MMOs on consoles, like, mm. It's like when they want to put SE on console, I'm still like, nah, you don't do that, it won't work. Why, why do that? Why waste money? But hey-ho, they're going for it. More power to them. If they want to do it, let them do it. <laughs> Build it and they will come, apparently. Nice. We could put a quick cargo thing in here as well. Cargo. They're good. And we've got like a separate sort of control station going in here. And uh, to be honest, we can probably arm up the walls a bit more. This is meant to be a battleship after all, not a bloody pleasure boat. Yeah, if we arm up these sections, then I think we'll last a bit longer in the long run after all. Uh, but yeah, down here, there's definitely could be something going on for some sort of... Um, 
Can we link these in? Ah, hello. Okay. Yeah, this is something fun we could do. Because these are, yeah, we sit along here. I was thinking, with the Osiris, we could test bed a new technology. So, Kraz and the Vengeance, they both, Kraz's ship and the Vengeance, they both use technology, uh, or they use the welders to automatically weld stuff. I was thinking we could probably do something similar with this. Uh, this section can be sealed up. There you go. No need to have that down there anymore. I thought I just sealed it up. Do that. There you go. I was thinking we could do some sort of O2 plant here. That's kind of my idea. We've got that section coming through. So if we cut into here, just do that. We could have like O2 generators running across here. Yeah, let's do that. O2. Because that way we've got more fuel for the hydrogen thrusters, which are stored here. So it would make sense. Would it? Yeah, it would. No, that won't though, because that has to be difficult. Balls. No, come on. Stop doing that. Uh, make a modular fighter and keep the spares on the roof of the hangar. Nah. Is Eclipse still in service? Well, technically it's lost in space. Hey, Jack, it took me 30 minutes to get back to a stream. Damn, what, what happened? Tiny dawn breakers for fighters. That could be quite funny. Jack, what do you think of the SDF it be like in Discord? What? I have no idea what you mean by that. You've confused me. What are the best mods to use? Kind of what, um, you know, up to you, really. I mean, I use, like, a lot of mods. Like, the Asmuth one is my fun one. Uh, with the new DLC block so I found, kind of find myself using a lot more of that now. Question is, can we decorate stuff in here now? I guess we can, can't we? Uh, let's just turn symmetry mode off a second. Boop. Go on. I guess we could use the new blocks and actually decorate stuff, couldn't we? Desk, bed, couch. So let's see. The bed, unfortunately, doesn't really fit in with much of the design of the Apollo, which is a bit of a shame. I guess we could fit it in with a window, in a way. Still doesn't entirely fit in, though. That's slightly annoying. Some of this furniture doesn't, like, you know, sit well everywhere, so you kind of have to go with it. I think that's, like, the only, like, downside I could give it, is that some of the furniture definitely... I wish, like, we could just do a corner table as well. Like, just having some corner things would work fine, but no, we've got to have it. Got to have it this way, apparently. We'll probably put some flowers up against the wall here. There you go. Maybe a sofa. Text panel. Got that on there. We could probably maybe fit the bed in over here. Yeah, I hate the fact the bed has a window. Why not just make... I use mine for windows. Yeah, I know we use windows, but it wouldn't really fit this aesthetic design. And I don't really want like 10 beds in one room. That'd look a bit weird. But yeah, you can kind of decorate stuff with the new DLC blocks, though. On further view, it's kind of a bit limiting. But that's to my own circumstances. If you wanted to build this into your own SE ship, I think you'd do fine. But for myself, I find it a bit limiting. That's why I'll still stick with some mod packs. I guess with here, we could fit the bed in there and it would look more normal. More normal, I guess. Maybe you could have a sofa there. Here you go. Some more plants behind you. Then maybe the desk there. Another screen. And you see, that fits in more nicely. I guess. <laughs> it's, it's not perfect, but it, it does the job well. Uh, why is there a random pipe here? That's a bit weird. So my ultimate plan for here eventually is to fit in like an auto weld system. So those like broadside turrets can be welded up again. That is the idea, but to support them, I suppose we're actually going to need cargo containers, really, aren't we? Which means we should probably put, like, a cargo supply chain in here, which we can do. Um, because we can do cargo. Uh, medium cargo container. There you go, that'll fit. We can put that one there, 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 and it'll eventually just link up with this one here. Very nice. And that way we can store more cargo and supplies in here to actually be able to weld this stuff up. I'm not sure why there's a stairway going here. That's no longer needed. Let's get rid of that. I think it's because I decided to reconvert part of the CIC at one point, so that's why some of the design looks out of place. 
But yeah, why is this new area not built in yet? This is kind of me designing 101. I'll constantly like flip between different things to do. Kind of just the way I prefer it. I'm a tip for ramen. Could do. Have you seen the new Star Wars Extra? Yeah, I have. It looks really cool. Love you guys. Thank you, Jack. Uh, Jack, could you use Hage's bed mod that is made years ago? Yeah, we probably could do, to be honest. Have you considered making a somewhat small tugboat for moving cargo around inside a ship? Uh, yeah, we've got one in Conley we use for that. So, yeah. How is people joining this? Who the hell? Is I mean, it's set to private. How can people join? What? This is definitely set to private. Who even is that? It doesn't show my Steam on here, does it? The account isn't even connected. What? It's showing no accounts connected. That can't be right. I can kick it. Is that even on my Steam friends list? That's a bit odd, because the world is definitely set to private. No, the only Ryan I have on here is not even connected. Search the membership thing. Is that one of you lot connecting? Because, like, you, you clearly see that word there. Players. Private. That is set to meaning only I should be able to invite people. Yet someone can apparently bypass that? What? I'm just going to go and set the world to um, offline anyway. But that's, uh, that's weird. Can we quickly search the Steam thing? I know someone by that name as well, which is even weird. No users match that name. Okay. That's new. We're just going to go set it to offline anyway. I've had that happen before where people can connect through private. But I don't know if it's a keen security issue or the world's bugged. But it should definitely be offline. Because I rarely open this world to friends, let alone public. Jack, if you have a bit of Dreadnought Battleship and Space Engineers. Technically, my vengeance in Conley Wars is a Dreadnought. That's what everyone's classing it as. Jack, I want some custom blocks for my game. Who do I think I should go to that? Uh, Steam Workshop. You can find some stuff from there. I guarantee you can find everything. It's set to private. It's set to offline. That's weird. Do you reckon like a flaw in Steam security? I'm not sure. Um, you need more guns to solve the problem. Yes, yes we need. We need more guns to solve the issue. That would probably be a wiser course of action. And blow some more stuff up. Do, 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 do. What PC you use? Uh, it's custom built. I mean workshop. Um, yeah, you can find some stuff on the workshop. An RGB luxury ship, the Eclipse. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, probably something. Uh... Why am I being pinged in another Discord? Yeah. Best Borderlands art impression. Hello, Jack. What? Next up, I can't wait for. I believe it was on Friday. Yeah, I've been editing the uh, latest Conley Wars today. It's looking really good, to be honest. It's very nice. It might be admin working on something. No, no admins by that name. They shouldn't be able to bypass that anyway. When's the next episode of Conley Wars? It's on Friday. Jack is handsome Jack. I, I used to like that villain in Borderlands 2, but I wouldn't want to be him. He got burnt on the face quite badly. What's your favourite Star Wars ship? Um, oh, I'm not sure. It's a tough question. Favourite Star Wars ship. Wasn't that just here? I swear I got rid of that. Are we on the other side now? Yeah, because I got rid of that on this side, didn't I? Wrong side of the ship again. Tony Lam. Yeah, I can get rid of this stuff now. Do, 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 do. Which means we can very carefully set up a nice stairway just going all the way over there. Do, 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 do. Catwalk. That's going to be slightly annoying, you bastard. Let's pretend like that's fair for the sake of it, and we'll put another catwalk down. There we go. Problem solved. Nice. Cool. And we can probably just put like a block system there to arm it up a bit more. 
the entire idea of this section is literally just for, you know, show. For practicality reasons, I would not, like, put this much detail into it. But for this, it's fine. There you go. Nice. Uh, and this is sort of, like, just a production area going on. We can probably put some bits in here. Do, 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 do. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. I hate this already. Just, oh. Put that there. Excellent. Put some blocks there. Done. It looks more in line now. And I don't need anything going on here, do I? Nope. Uh, now, the question is, do we have refineries and assemblers? We can probably make, put them forward because the CIC is above this, isn't it? We could fit these here, but no, they probably won't fit in very well. Especially right above there. What are the components of your PC, if I ask? I think I've got an i7-8-9000, or no, 8000 series. It's 8000 series. Then, um, it's got a 2080 Ti now, because I had to re uh, redo the graphics card. Um, it's got a lot of stuff, to be honest. It's, I can't remember it off the top. It's got 32 gigs of RAM as well. Yeah, but if anyone has any questions about Conlibre and stuff like that, which I can say, I'll tell you. It's kind of, unfortunately, designing shits for me is a very sort of tedious process. I tend to go back and forth on a lot of stuff quite quickly, as I'm doing now, just to kind of check, you know, if things are interest, or, you know, are interesting or not. It is sort of like the floor I have of this. Let's just pause that a minute. There you go. Nice. Uh, Jack, is it going to be a store on the Orion crew after they were captured? Uh, probably a bit late for that now. The Conley was the reason you lose is because you don't have enough guns and, and can't build shit very fast. People um, like comment all the time that we should like include the build and repair mod. I'm not. I'm really not bothered on it to be honest. I find the mod annoying. It's a great mod. Don't get me wrong. It's just I don't want to include that mod in the series because it just breaks the dynamic of it. I feel. And would make the gameplay feel so much like totally different. So yeah, I'm not. I've got no plans to include that mod just because I find it irritating. I mean, if you, you play with it in your own time, it's perfectly fine. But for myself and my series, it's it's not something I'm looking to do. Just because, like I say, I do find it annoying. Um, let's see. We'll flatten out this area up here. do this instead nice where is my oh, we deleted all didn't we uh, are you going to add the super lasers of vengeance nope uh, they know um, RWI and Aaron's team won't get the super lasers the DF can literally print large warships yeah they can I mean personally I'd find that boring if my team did it so that's why we don't do it we build ships by hand and have more fun but yeah, if they want to print warships, knock themselves out. I think a lot of people like a lot of people tell me like say, oh, you should print ships. No, we shouldn't. You know, in my opinion, it would ruin it for us. Where's the cult console's gone? Over here. This is the right one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, in my opinion, that would literally just like ruin it for us. So it's not something I want to do at the minute because yeah, simply it just it just wouldn't feel fun. Uh, and I reckon it would make it boring. So it's yeah, it's just not something I want to commit to. Um, let's see. Go have a text screen down here. And we'll go with some stuff like this around there. Uh, cockpit. There's meant to be more of like a battle bridge upstairs here. So we will go with a... CKC. With display... I want to make a modified version of these at some point. Yeah, this way we've got some extra stuff coming in here, which looks a bit better. It's a shame I can't have like the old sort of corner LCDs here. They looked quite good. Do you have a cargo ship in RDR? Yeah, we have a few. I think a crash is also the reason you lose. No, it's not. Sounds like a good idea. If I built this, my computer would blow up. No, I don't think it'd be too bad. What's the inspiration of this glorious vessel? Or is it totally self-designed? Most of it's self-designed. Second inspiration is Battlestar Galactica. How do you start planning out your ships? Every project I start out tend to stuck. Uh, oh, so basically I just draw stuff. Jack, will be a story for the Reliant Clue before we have found the Planet Wars. There could be a story for everything. Unfortunately, not every story can be told. 
Uh, does Dazzle camouflage working in Space Engineers? I don't think so. You could try it. I'm not liking this. Um... Hmm. Just thinking a second. Alright, we can go with something like this. Mm-hmm. I want the bridge to feel slightly closer together. So, I am going to... Where is the other cult console? It is... I keep scrolling by them all. Here it is. Doop. It's curve. That's what it is called. It's not called circle. Because it's not a circle. It's called curve. Remember that for future, everyone. Curve. There we go. That's looking a bit better. We're getting there now. Nice. Okay. Excellent, yeah, this looks a bit more of a menacing bridge to us. I need a way to set this apart from the other bridge ships we have, or other ships we have, which got bridges and stuff on them. This definitely sets it apart a lot more. Hello. Or is it a uh, console? Yep. Excellent. And a bait again. Nice, excellent. Okay, this definitely makes a difference. I like it. I am happy. So we have tactical officers stood here or over on the other side. Helm, operations, captain, all looking quite good. I like in this. Excellent. Uh, last I'll see green a bit is floating. Is it? It's a bit floating. Do you mean these ones? Yeah, I guess they are. I mean, technically you could say they're pinned onto the side though because they do like clamp in there. Just not on that side. This one is, but it's a cheatsy way around it, but it works. How do you go about the interior design of these ships? Because I struggle with the design process. I can't just stand around and look at it for a while. Like this bridge has been through so many different variations. But for the minute it actually fits. So this is a bridge obviously. Now it's exposed by the windows. But we have an actual CIC down below which we mainly use. This is more or less the battle bridge. Which makes more sense. So in like heavier combat scenarios. This thing you wouldn't really be up here. As it would make no sense to be on board this. But uh, we are going to put in hangar doors at some point I believe. I think that's the idea, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. So we'll see about putting him in. I think we might. I think I might encase the bridge a bit more at some point. That might require a bit of redesign, so I'm not 100% okay on the idea. Speaking of which... I'm not 100% okay on the idea. Starts redesigning it immediately. I just had suddenly like, I thought like, mm, I could I could redo this. Hmm. <laughs> nah, it doesn't fit in that well. I say this is the tedious parts of actually, you know, designing ships and space engineers. It does take a long time. There you go. But yeah, we made some good progress in this hour state. It is looking quite well. I'm happy with it. Jack, can you read a message from Kraz? Uh, from to Kraz? If so, the message is in. Sure, I'll pass them on. Uh, not as bad as Tube SST. Yeah, please add a landing gear to the roof of the bottom launch base. It doesn't need one though, because it's got a connector, so it would come up and then attach to a connector. So it doesn't need there. Is this what you're going on with Vengeance? No, no, this is my own design. This is the Osiris, which is a different design ship. This one is designed to be Fleet Command. The one above there is designed to be an actual flagship, so it looks a bit better. Messel, we'll add those in later. For the minute, most of the crew is designed. This ship is probably about 95% complete now. It needs a few little, like, you know, just corrections in certain areas. The entire paint needs to go on. And that's about it. I think I might probably keep the engine room as the same, as it's meant to be like another generation. So I think the engine room will stay the same. Does 39 hours sound good until the upload of Conley Wars? Uh, no, because I still need to edit and render the other version. Actually, we're quite cool. Q 
Give your awesome videos, man. Um, are there any missile mods? There are a few missile mods out there. You can get a script. So yeah, it's um something to do. Anyway, chaps, unfortunately, I'm going to be ending the stream here, as it was only a short one tonight, as I wanted to come on and just do a little bit of stream building with you all. But I am going to end up here, because uh, I need sleep, and uh, I've got some stuff to do tomorrow, which is a, a bit of a pain in the ass. Camera rig handle this too, Camp Jack. has a 1080, 60... Yeah, yeah, your rig will be plenty fine with this. Yeah, you can handle this. Any new ideas or paint jobs? Actually, before we go, does anybody want to see something fun? Game's already saving. Before I go, I will show you some behind the scenes of Conley Wars. As I know, everyone who comes out of the stream loves seeing it. So stick around for five more minutes. I will show you the behind the scenes of Conley Wars as soon as we cut out. Um, but let's have a look. When it eventually loads out, smash them with a waffle iron. <laughs> yeah, nice advertisement. It got blocked with a bot. Uh, never fear behind the scenes here. I hope it will load out. I mean, it's meant to be trying to quit out at a minute. Should be. But okay, I can show you some behind the scenes for. So look this world. And I can show you um, the Conley Wars cinematic battle. And by the way, did anybody here get a chance to watch it in 4K? Because it did look very good in 4K. I liked it. It was quite fun. So yeah, it was. Um... It was good, yeah. I liked filming it to us. I love these ships in the background. I'd love to design something like this. I think it was Amagath who built them, but I can never build anything like it. So yeah, it's, it's something something you do at some point. I love when they tease this image. You can actually see um, the like, ladders in it, which is quite fun. No, Tenet is the most I can do with my internet. Fair enough. I mean, it's not really internet. You need a 4K thing to display it as well. 4K all the way. I love filming in 4K. It does make things look 10 times better. Um, cool. Let's boot this up. So actually, I'm not sure if this will reload. If it crashes, then... Yeah, here you go. So this is the film world, or one of them, I use for, you know, the stalwart and Inic. So this is a phase where the ship's about to fire on the bow. Or has it already fired on the bow? Yeah, because we've gone through. So this is already fired on the bow. So it's just past this moment. And when the fight is coming to attack the bridge, I think... Um, but yeah, shall we blow up the gauntlet again? It's not the last you've seen of this ship. We just need to hop over here a second and command the gauntlet and blow that ship up. There we go. Ready? Let's charge the laser. Come on, you'll enjoy this. We'll blow this ship up one last time. Um... To do more vids in 4K. Yeah, yeah, 4K, uh, more stuff. The Discovery Cinematic will be in 4K. Uh, so yeah, keep a look at that. It looked amazing in 4K. I loved it, honestly. It looks so good. And... Fire. This is why I love this Atlas laser. It just rips apart Starships 101. That is inspector damage. <laughs> to prove how powerful this Atlas laser was, I sawed the gauntlet in half. And, uh, yeah, we kind of, like, toasted much of that. I mean, look at the damage. Damn. You'd be dead if he's on board the ship. Did it pierce the engine room? I think the engine room's roughly all right. Yeah, the reactor's magically disappeared, though. Bridge, yeah, you would have been killed on the bridge instantly. You might have survived. Blew out the engine pod. Yeah, this ship would have been doomed. Even with, like, if you're a fast-paced ship, you get struck once by this laser, you're going to suffer critical damage. I mean, just look at that. This ship probably could get away, but most of its hydrogen lines have been cut. This is why the Defender's like quite a bad design for combat. As soon as this main line was cut and these pipes in here are on fire, we lost all engines. I think we still got... Have we got rear engines? Yeah. So rear engines, it could still jet away, essentially. I don't think it could stop. Yeah, these are also on fire. So <laughs> this ship is doomed now. But yeah, in the meantime, everyone, this has been it for me tonight. Please come and join the Discord if you haven't already. I will be in there later tonight, maybe. So uh, yeah, come and join in there. Only question, why Enik and I... Are they are hostile towards each other? I'm not sure. You might need to know sometime. But in the meantime, everyone, thank you for tuning in to the stream. I know it's been a bit of a short one. Unfortunately, it's uh, Wednesday night and I've got some stuff to do. But in the meantime, I will catch you later. We need more story of Connor Wars. Yep, I'll write it at some point. See you later, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.